Hi guys, Retro Django here, back with another pinball video. Now in today's video, we're gonna look at one of these WPC89 CPU, MPU boards. These boards controls your old Bell Williams between 90 to 95 Bell Williams uh, pinball machines. Great system, easy to repair, great schematics online. Love these boards. One issue that we see with these old boards are battery leakage. Now on my pinball machines, I always put on a label on top of brand new batteries. Put a label on there and make sure that, you know, now it's August 2021 and make sure that next year or in two years, I will replace the, replace the batteries. Now, sometimes we buy some of these old pinball machines that has been on storage for 10 years with a lot of battery leakage. What, what happens is all the battery juice goes down here on the switch matrix ICs here all the way down to the sockets here they get all green and you know water battery damage looks smells feels like yeah you know what I mean two seconds guys two seconds yeah I'm not that prepared all right so This board is a board that I just got in today with my fun house. The ROM version is L2. Now, it's actually pretty easy to buy new ROMs or just download the file from I, I am, what was it man, pb.org. There you can download the newest, newest uh, revision and get the yeah newest best game code. So always go in and check your game in there and update to the newest ROM. Yeah, so my fun house. It can't keep the time, the score, the settings. I mean, on a pinball machine, batteries has to work. Okay, it has to remember everything the thing is these boards over here now this is from december 13th 1990 wow man this is one of the first generations there are apps, i think there are about 100 funhouse games with the old uh, system 11 and then they switch over to the new wpc 89 Funhouse, Pat Lawler's masterpiece. I absolutely love this game. As I can see, we have absolutely no battery juice, no battery damage down on the board. So this board, it has positive connector over here, there, and the negative is down here that you can see it's ground. Okay, so from here you will put in the battery like this on the top side and then it will take the current down here and we have 1.5 volt and on the front side it will have a connection to the top here to the next battery and go down 3 volts and then a connection up here and down here 4.5 volts then it will remember everything the thing is the batteries for the last many many years some of them has been leaky <laughs> at top here these connectors i really hate them so in this video we're going to replace it at top here it has got connection pads down at the bottom, the first one here, 
it's all gone. So the ground does not have, have connection to the next line. So th th this is just junk. The next one, the pad is okay. The third one, the pad is all broken off because of battery juice. But I'm so happy if I look at the legs, they are just shiny, silver looking and nothing down here. So this will be a beautiful card. It works perfect. 10 out of 10, no trouble. But let's go ahead and replace this part. So for many, many years, I used one of these cheap pumps, you know, five euros on eBay. They work, they're all right. But actually one of my subscribers on my YouTube channel, one of my Amiga viewers, Commodore Amiga computers, he actually donated this desoldering pumping station to me, made a review about it. It's great. It cost about, I think it, he said, was it 90 or 95 euros? Um, yeah, I like it. For the money, it's alright. So, 400 or 752. Alright. So, usually, I would use this if I had switch matrix problem, then I would, you know, suck these uh, soldering jobs here, suck them up with this. Um, but now we have these big uh, soldering points over here. So this is not a great solution. I have bigger head to this, but I will actually heat it up with my normal soldering Thingy. <laughs> and I will add some fresh solder because again this is from 1990 and then I will do this um, yeah not interesting to watch now but after I got some new solder here as you can see we don't have enough solder but when I uh, add some more I will just pump up like this and then uh, if you have one of these, don't use it like this against, you know, the gravity against it. So check it out like this and, and it will actually make much more sense. So I'm gonna... Oh, dude, I didn't even add solder. Wow. Okay, that was, I'm surprised. Let me check this one while filming. Two seconds, guys. It just fells off. Wow. Look at how clear that hole is. But um, nice. this one has got some double sided tape, maybe it holds. Let's try to uh, pull this one out also. Now, usually, with this big solder bulbs, I would actually. Wow, <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Look at this. So easy, so clean. So let's just check out the rest up here.
these pumps, they're just so great. <laughs> If you like, if you like to work with your pinball machines, wow! Look at the holes up top here. Look at how clean that is. I mean, didn't even add new solder. All right. This is the old one. As you can see, these two, they were dead. So, yeah. This is the new one. This is actually new old stock. I have been in, you know, in, 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 in the pinball hobby for many, many, many years, guys. I mean, look at this. It has got Williams logo on it. I actually have quite a lot original Williams new old stock parts no they will never come up for sale I love them so positive up, up, up at top positive on top actually with the new old stock parts sometimes when I use uh, buy these remade parts then I mean brand new technology it and they can't match the old original stuff it's just so odd man look at the length everything just fits it just fits it's just so perfect man Bailey Williams they just knew what they were doing so let's take some fresh shoulder here uh, over here oh man it's it's not fun to film and and do this let's just give some on this leg now when you do stuff like this it's easy to melt the solder here that's not the problem you will the component you want to solder on you have to heat it but you don't need to heat it like crazy okay so just heat it up so it will well done the proper way also the traces you don't want to burn the traces on the board here um, but so i'll just heat this one up and give it some solder here there we go and the solder it's without uh, crazy chemicals <laughs> from our lungs that means uh, it will have a grayish finish not a silver finish but you know I I want to live more than a few years so I use stuff like this it doesn't look I mean some of these repair guys they really like the silver ones but uh, yeah yeah I can just see something from my head I'm so sorry if I just do it like this now the, the sliding part is just plastic so it, it it's okay can you see this I mean the position I mean is just Crazy man. Let's give it some more solder here. I can't see, it's too dark. There we go. Let's take a closer look here. Yeah, they look fine. They look fine, okay. It's the back side of the CPU board. No one's gonna see. Right. Let's see. Can you pick this? Yes, you can. So I will, you know, heat up everything here. What I want to show you is actually, some people they um, they forget to heat up the component. They just they do it like this on top here, and just put in a 
all pier, that's it. No, heat up everything. Now that you can see the solder goes out to the ground plate over here. So we have nice connection. Now don't just fill it with solder, you know, but yeah, you know what? And if you repair your pinball machine, if you own a pinball machine, you have one of these. I mean, and you have probably done this a thousand times, but it is what it is, guys. Now, this is just a video showing you how simple a battery holder replacement can be done. Yeah, that's nice. One deck left, and then we will just put in put this in the uh, pinball machine and see. I will of course check with continuity if I have shorted something, but I truly don't hope so. <laughs> you can look here, look here, these batteries, it says it will hold to 2025. When I use dual cell batteries, I will have them in my pinball machines for about two years. But something like these cheap ones, I will actually replace them once a year. So this is just for testing purposes. Now, while you were watching me doing this for a minute ago, you thought, Retro Django, why do you use so much solder? Why do you make these big soldering jobs over there? I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> Look at the other side, these boards, has connections not only on the bottom but also on the top. So I will use some extra solder so let the solder slide down and have connection on top also. As you can see, beautiful. So let's find my dig digital multimeter and see if this works. All right, so we'll put this um, not two because we have three 1.5 5 volt batteries so it should uh, you know show uh, 4.5 so two won't work so we will put it on 20 volts here make sure you can see everything and we can just you know use the ground down here or the battery where I soldered I soldered here so this one was the negative lead now we have three batteries installed and we will we should have about 4.5 volts so let's give it some ground let's give it some positive here bam 4.9 and if i take you know from the ground over here again 4.90 it's important then you that you use all the screws that you screw them in because you can see they used on these old games they use ground plates so make sure to put on all the screws um, so it should be um, yeah it should be ready to go guys plus up here ground down here and it works beautiful stuff let's install everything <laughs> all right I just installed the board, so it's time for the boom test. <laughs> I'm ready to turn it off. Oh, nice. Okay, press enter. <laughs> so, what's gonna happen? We're going to go in here. Time and date. All right, let's go into utilities and... it was 98 that could be nice all right so we just set the time and date and we Come on in. entered six credits all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the pinball machine there we go we're going to wait all the lights have to go off and 
all the power in the cabs and everything should just disappear. <laughs> it's probably gone by now, I think. Oh, it has got new bridges. Yes, they're new. Oh, they, they're so far away from the board, man. That's nice. Great. But when you replace these, replace also the caps, man. That's just a must. Also, the, the little cap in there. Uh, yeah, but that's another video. If you're interested, just write and I will explain your thing. All right. So now we're going to see if those batteries if they still hold the uh, time and date 1998 and the six credits. I hope this works. So let's give it a go. Three, two, one, go. Ta-da! And we have six credits and it's 1998. Isn't that just beautiful? So it worked. That's nice, guys. That's beautiful. Yeah, and this is, um, oh man, this is a game that I'm really looking forward to share with you guys. Oh, I love this pin, I love this pin, it's such a fun pin. Yeah. Such a great live show, everything is just, I love everything about it, man. Alright guys, I want to say thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. There we go. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something, that could be great. If you want to support this channel, share this video, give it a thumbs up, that could be nice. If you want to support my channel with one dollar a month, you can go in at Patreon on the link on the description and do so. That could be great. And then I will mention your name next time. <laughs> uh, other than that, for me, this is a System 11 Model C game, but it runs with the WPC 89. Such a hybrid. Oh man, I love everything about it, man. Such a great machine. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I wish you all a great day out there. Until next time, check out some of my other pinball videos. Have a great day out there. Bye.